Good morning, one and all. Myself, Santosh from Department of Computer Science and Engineering, IIT, Kharagpur. This is a work along with Debashi Kumar Sanjal from National Digital Library of India and Plavan Kumar Vomik from Centre for Educational Technology, IIT, Kharagpur and Padavratim Das from Department of Computer Science and Engineering, IIT, Kharagpur. This work is called Document Level Attention for Key Phrase Extraction, which is called as DEC. Key phrase extraction task is of automatically extracting words and phrases from text, which concisely represent the essence of a text. Key phrase extraction, we are searching for automatic methods because such key phrases are useful in many downstream tasks like document retrieval, categorization and etc. Now let me give you an overview of work in this domain. Previous approaches use it to follow a two-step procedure, wherein the first step they use it to select important phrases as a potential key phrase candidates and then rank them using some unsupervised or supervised metrics. For unsupervised, they use it to score them based on informativeness of words, graph best measures, etc. For supervised, they use it to train a binary classifier based on various features. But these particular approaches have a downside where the labels of each candidate phrases are independently labeled without taking dependencies into account. So this is formulated as a sequence labeling task and linear chain CRFs are proposed to deal with this task later on and more recently they identified this method doesn't take long term dependencies and semantics of text into account. So they proposed a by LSM CRF based deep learning approach to deal with this task. Let me give you an overview of what this means. We just call sequence labeling because we are given a sentence which consists of words x1 to xn for which we need to predict the labels y1 to yn. Each label yi corresponds to word xi. So the label yi is either a key phrase word or not a key phrase word. That's a binary label and a series or a consecutive series of key phrase words constitute a key phrase. This is how we obtain key phrases once we get the labels. So we will see how we have used by LSM CRF approach. Once we have these words, we obtain pre-trained word embeddings and we pass them to an LSTM layer. So this LSTM layer is of bi-directional LSTM layer where forward LSTM reads the sentence in original direction and backward LSTM reads in opposite direction. And we concatenate the representations from each LSTM to obtain hidden state representations H1 to HN. We pass them into an CRF layer to obtain the final labels Y1 to YN. This uh, approach has a downside where this LSTMs only take local context of words into account for predicting. But if there is an additional supporting information to enrich its representation, it is really helpful when the local contexts are really ambiguous. So where, in, where can we obtain this additional supporting information? We can obtain such additional supporting information from other sentences in the document. For this, we propose document level attention mechanism. So in the previous slide, if you remember, we have obtained hidden state representations H1 to HN. Now we will see how we will enrich the representation of a word representation HI. So in the same document, we have a couple of sentences called S1 to SM. We pass them through a sentence encoder. For example, we have used Cybert in this to obtain sentence level representations of Z1 to ZM. We use this sentence level representations to enrich the representation of the word HI and we obtain KI. For math, you can refer to our paper. I'm skipping the math for time being. So after obtaining KI from this layer, there is a downside, but this additional supporting information may also act as noise to couple of words. So we need to have a balance between this additional supporting information and the local context. For that, we propose a gating mechanism where we pass the information HI, which we obtain from hidden state representation from LSTM and KI, which we obtain from document level representation into a gated gating mechanism to obtain BI, which is a balance between both the representations. Now putting them to the framework, first we have this word level representations x1 to xn which we send them into an LSTM layer to obtain h1 to hn as hidden state representation. We pass them to document level attention mechanism and gating mechanism to obtain representations b1 to bn. Then we pass them again to an LSTM layer. This LSTM layer setup is similar to LSTM layers at the down but the difference is here the representation of inputs are additional supporting information is also taken into account. So we call, we call this layer as context augmenting layer and finally we obtain C1 to CN which we sent into CRF layer to obtain the labels Y1 to YN. Now we'll move on to our experiments where we use this data set of KP560K in which we have around 567K scientific papers which sets as 
training valid and tested each instance has a title abstract and all the same key phrases which are used as gold standard key phrases for evaluation we have you couple of baselines which follow extract web approaches under unsupervised and supervised category and an abstract web approach as well we report the metrics called precision recall and f1 scores for all those methods if you observe the results our method takes performs very well compared to all the previous approaches and if you observe this deep learning based approaches perform well compared to normal machine learning based and heuristic based approaches we also carried an ablation study to understand the importance of every component in our module and the score results them where the removal of document level attention uh, gives a downfall of score removal of a gating mechanism removes uh, shows a down in the score and even the context augmenting layer this proves every component in our model is very essential for uplifting or for increasing the final performance so concluding it we propose a document level attention for key phrase extraction system which is called as dict which consists of a bielstrom crf based approach enriched with document level attention mechanism which is to add additional supporting information and a gating mechanism to balance this additional and the local context information so in future we also wanted to experiment with adding some other additional context which we can get from citation networks and all with this thank you